yes, Laura here. Today I am going to do a video using the products that the gorgeous Kelly Wesley sent me. So we did a bit of a, a friend swap and um, I will show you the video where I was opening what I got in the past. I think it's that side. I can't remember. And um, I thought today I might do a look doing using the products that she sent me. Um, not all of the products because um, I won't be able to put all the products in one book I don't think. But I'm going to concentrate on the Sassy Sienna's palette that she sent me. From Dose of Colours. Looks like this. A beautiful warm palette and I thought that that palette would go quite well with the orange palette as well that I've got because it would be good for deepening up this one. But I'm not going to use the orange palette today because she also sent me the Ring the Alarm Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette which looks like this. So this, this one here is all matte so I'm going to use some shimmer out of this one. And I have done my eyebrows and my eyebrows and I've actually done my base makeup but and powdered but I haven't put anything else on because um, I I did my eyebrows in that and then realized I didn't have time to do the rest of it before I had to go to the doctor <laughs> so um, I just put my foundation on and powdered that and then went to the doctor and now I'm back to do the rest of my makeup so what would I like to start with I think I'm gonna go in with a little fluffy brush this is just the models prefer one which has a slight sort of taper on the top and it's also got one had one little loose here, so that's a bit better. And I think I'm going to go in with this colour here, which I'm presuming is called Bossy. It depends if the names on the back are the same there, or if it's opposite, then it's called Brassy, but I, I don't know. <laughs> That's a really nice colour. And then I'm going to go into the lighter one, this one here, which is called Oh So Sassy or Stay Sassy, one, one or the other, I don't know. And I'm going to just put that on the top there just to blend out the top. It's very pigmented. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I do things in such weird orders. I'm going to attempt to use this one, which is my LA Girl one, but um, it's come out. And there's nothing left in the bottom. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to switch to a different liner. Then I want to smudge it out. And I'm just going to use an angle brush. I don't know that they were even, but never mind. And I'm going to use the same angle brush. I'm going to go into the brown here. Will this be deep enough? I wonder. I think I want to go into this one here, which I'm going to say is brassy or bossy. I'm not sure what. And I'm actually, I'm kind of working my way back up now. <laughs> I do my eyeshadow sometimes in weird orders because it just depends on what I actually know I want to do compared to what I'm not sure about. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then I think I might go into some shimmer now. So I'm going to need to go into the other palette. And I'm going to start off with this one, Dolly. And I'm just going to use a dry. That's a lovely colour. Look at that gorgeous colour. Yeah, 
really pretty. It goes really well with these colours here too. It's interesting because um, this palette has got sort of the more yellowy toned browns in it. So they will they, they'll go quite well together. And then I think I will go into on camera, which is this goldy one. And then I'm going to go into the highlighter she sent me, which is the Oprah highlighter in Star Island. And she said this is one that she actually panned. This is the first highlighter she ever panned. So I take it that means she really liked this one. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. It's nice and bright. Because neither palette really has an inner corner shade. But that's okay, because I can just use the highlighter. And maybe put some up here on my brow bone. Okay, I went a bit far, but I carried away on one side there. So I'm get my fluffy brush back and just bring that out a bit. Got a bit carried away on this side. And then I do a little bit of brown underneath. Now she did give me a bronzy kind of liner, barley bronze. So let's see. It's quite a hard pencil, so I'll see how it will draw on my wrinkly eyes. To warm it up a bit on the back of my hand. Or maybe I'll sharpen it and see if that helps because sometimes they just need a bit of a sharpen. And then I'm going to go back into think my angled brush and I'll do a little bit of this brown here in the very outer corner and then I think I'm going to go into boom over the eyeliner that I just put on there. Pretty. They go well together Kelly. What do you think? Really pretty colours. Especially love colour there, what was that one called again? It was from the Jacqueline Hill palette, Lolly. Very pretty colour and it's going to go really well with the blush that you got me. So I'm going to go and do my bronzer, so she got me the butter bronzer and this one is in Sunkist and when I first opened it I couldn't figure out how to open it but it actually opens really easily because you just press the little button. <laughs> and I'll do my bronzer. And I'm always going to think of summer when I smell this bronzer because it smells like coconut suntan lotion. Which I suppose is pretty appropriate for bronzer really. It's a really nice colour on me and I think in the summertime I can just go a little bit heavier with it and it will still suit me really well. Now she got me two blushes, so this is a blush highlighter and this is a baked blush and so the pixie one, I haven't tried the blush side so I'm going to try the blush side first this is in rose gold it's actually a really pretty natural blush on me 
really nice natural flush of colour. Looks good. If you can see that on camera. The only trouble is, um, <laughs> the way I would wear my blush in, you know, natural, light, normal, everyday blush doesn't show up very much on camera. So, <laughs> often you end up getting a bit more heavy handed on camera because you can't see it. And I'm just going to go in with the Laura Gala one, Tropic Hues, that she got me. And this has a very interesting um, colour and it will go perfectly with that colour I used in the middle of my lid because it's kind of like, it's kind of like a pink with a, it's got a pink base with an apricot kind of orange, sh goldy shift. So. <laughs> It's hard to describe. <laughs> but that definitely intensifies the blush a bit. And same with the highlighter. So this one in here is a much more natural highlighter and this one here is much more blingy. So I'm going to go in with my highlighter brush with the highlighter side. I'm just so lucky to have such wonderful friends that I've met here on YouTube. Who I love talking to in the comment section and on Instagram and we organise collabs and things together and it's just lots of fun and they're all very supportive and wonderful people. And Kaylee is just wonderful as well. She's very supportive and very fun and I really enjoy watching her videos but I also enjoy just her friendship and talking with her and playing makeup with her through collabs and stuff. And I think I'm going to spray my face now. And then I'm going to go in with my Ofra highlighter from Star Island that she sent me. Again. And just do a little pop on top of my cheeks because I just like a little bit extra. So pretty. And do I need to do my mascara? And the last time I used my Wet n Wild mascara, which I've got in my painting project, um, it went really gloopy, so it may be getting to that stage where I need to get rid of it, but we'll see what happens this time. It is getting to that age where I do need to consider throwing it out, but I can just stretch it a little bit longer. <laughs> it's such, so weird putting little bits of fluff on your eyelashes. <laughs> this two-step method. What do I want in my waterline? Um, I might just put this one here in because the one she sent me is a bit hard and I don't think I can get that in my waterline so I'll use my Wonder 2 in Glitter Bronze in my waterline and it's also a little bit lighter than the other one. And now we need a lipstick. What colour lipstick do I want? This one's going to be too light. a bit darker, it would be the right colour. That's what I got. I wonder 
does this gloss for work? Let's try it. So, um, <laughs> mysteriously, my Shea, Shayla X Colourpop in a No has suddenly turned up in my drawer. So, somehow, Elise, who borrowed it and left it at a friend's house, has got it back. Which is good because this is the colour I've been missing. So I used a mixture this time. I used the Mixed Butter Lipstick in Lollies and the Shayla Colour Pop coin. So, because one's quite orange and one's a little bit more pinky. They look very similar, but they just, I think they made the right colour to go in with the colour up here. So I will be bringing this one out to put in my everyday makeup because it will go really well with the orange palette and things that I have out in my shop my stash at the moment. Let me put that gloss back because that was not the right colour. So there is my look using the wonderful products that Kaylee Weasley sent me. Thank you Kaylee. There's a really pretty eye look right up my alley. Those beautiful warm orangey browns and things. So it was really fun playing with those and I am sure I will get lots of use out of them because all the colours are really pretty. And I've already used, that's the first time I've used the eyeshadow palettes because I was saving it for the video but I have already used these three things a number of times in different videos. <laughs> in this four things, these four things, the bronzer and the blushes and the highlighters, I have used several times already since I have got that parcel and I think we're finished. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye!